Shalom and good day all, this is Tequilin29, back again for graphic novels I have recently read through, and I must admit, um, going through this was not fun, especially with uh, all the trouble that a certain writer that you see before me here did to a certain family, and that's right, the Superman family. I'll also let you know that the present uh, timeline that we're on at DC Comics still connects to the Brian Michael Bendis timeline. Uh, it has not been restored to the Peter J. Tomasi, uh, Dan Jurgens timeline as of yet. <laughs> in regards to the characters that we have in play, as much as I enjoy Philip Kennedy Johnson... Uh, with some of the stories that he's done. Uh, we are still in technicality on the Brian Michael Bendis timeline. So, let's go through what graphic novels we have here, or what trades. And of course we have Superman, the Unity Saga, House of Al. Uh, we have Truth Revealed, which was, well, as terrible as ever, and still as terrible to come. Uh, we also have Checkmate. Moving into the Action Comics run, and the stories that took place there. We have the Leviathan, we have Le uh, Leviathan Ari uh, up, uh, Rising. Action Comics, Mythological, which was super annoying with the cinema. <clears throat> then we have the Legend of Future Super Villains. It's the only other way to put them, because that's how they acted. Of course, we have the Trial of the Legion. We move into his Young Justice run. And of course we have his Justice League stuff. Oh, to which we must remember that um, even though Brian Michael Bendis wasn't responsible for the actual death of the Justice League. It was actually needed to um, try to get the bad taste out of people's mouths <laughs> as to the destruction that he has done. And of course, the Justice League versus the Legion of Future Super Fascists. So, if it's one thing I want to point out, it's just I still stick to my original uh, ratings that I gave this series on The Fool's Gold. I'm looking forward to reading something um, a little bit more fresh after this, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, but it goes to show you can't bank on Bendis at DC Comics. But when it comes to Brian Michael Bendis's indie comic stories, you can actually bank on him there because he does actually write some really good stories that I actually enjoy. Um, some that I've actually reviewed on the channel in regards to um, the Power series. I actually quite enjoyed the Power series. Another... Um, one that will probably be coming, if not already shown on the channel at the time when this, whenever this goes up, or it might actually be coming later on the channel, depending when it goes up. And a lot of these uh, Brian Michael Bendis ones I've read between January twenty twenty three into the sim, um, into not January, um, December twenty twenty three into January twenty twenty four. And it's really nice to finally, after rereading through this stuff, <laughs> uh, to have it over and done with. 
So until then, let's keep it colorful and have yourself an awesome day.